Our topic this week is privatization and school choice. Private schools have been an important part of the American education system since its earliest beginnings. Religious affiliated schools have educated large number of students and continue to do so. The Catholic school system was established for religious instruction but expanded considerably at the turn of the 20th century to educate European immigrants who did not speak English and had other difficulties functioning in American society. Yeshiva schools have a similar history. Religious affiliated private schools of many faiths continue today to flourish throughout the United States. Private schools for students with various special education needs have also provided important safety nets for children who were not being served for decades by the public schools. In recent years, a movement frequently referred to as school vouchers or school choice has attracted a good deal of attention. The Republican Party has made school vouchers choice one of the foundations of its national education policy. A number of prominent Democrats, including Joseph Lieberman, Senator from Connecticut, have also been strong supporters of school vouchers. The U.S. Supreme Court in 2002 upheld the constitutionality of private school vouchers in Cleveland, Ohio. A number of major businessmen and private foundations have launched multi-million dollar programs in several cities and states to provide choice to parents who cannot afford private school education. My first questions to you are, with so many segments of American society, business, philanthropy, government, religion, favoring school vouchers, isn't an idea whose time has come. Is not freedom and choice a fundamental right of our society and constitution? If so, why not extend it to education? In responding to the above, let's limit ourselves to vouchers and school choice for private schools, not publicly funded schools such as charter schools.